Hello everybody, I'm uh, Clément from CITIA. Uh, so first of all, uh, I would like to have a word for all the European uh, agricultural business which have been uh, dramatically impacted uh, by the first episode of this past week. We wish you all the best for the next step. So uh, as I said, I'm uh, Clément Aubry Tardif. I'm a research and development manager at CITIA. My uh, main mission aim uh, to build our research and development project in collaboration with uh, institutional uh, research centers and uh, end users in order to push uh, innovate, innovation of, uh, in robotic industry to the field. Uh, CITIA is a French uh, industrial SME uh, from Nantes, which uh, was created in uh, 1986. Uh, we have uh, two main uh, industrial uh, activities. Uh, the first one, the historical one, is uh, the test benches for for, um, uh, for automotive and uh, mainly automotive and uh, and uh, aeronautics. And uh, the second uh, activity is uh, agricultural robotics, uh, the subject of uh, this today life demo. Uh, started in uh, 2014, uh, agric agricultural robotic activity is taking up. Uh, with the launch of Sector Product, the first autonomous hybrid tractor. So today uh, we are uh, in the vineyard uh, of uh, Muscadet in the Loire Valley, uh, and we are working. Uh, we are going to, to work on a on a narrow vineyard uh, where the the rows are cultivated in a 1.4 meters uh, uh, width between uh, each row. The vineyard uh, is cultivated uh, uh, in, uh, in bio, organic, uh, so the, 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 the crops have been uh, uncovered and covered back. And, uh, now this is the time to, uh, to cut the weed with uh, intercept blades uh, that are mounted on, uh, on our robot. We will work at uh, four kilometers uh, per hour with the robot, uh, which will uh, autonomously uh, uh, navigate between uh, between uh, over over the road the road the road. So uh, I will uh, remove the camera and show you uh, the robot. So here is a tractor, uh, our uh, our autonomous uh, robot. Uh, so. Uh, Tractor uh, is a hybrid robot, uh, which uh, uh, which is uh, composed of uh, two, uh, two two main uh, wheels uh, for the for the traction and, uh, and uh, all the equipment. Um, and uh, and uh, the robot uh, here is uh, about to start the mission. But I will uh, first of all uh, show you uh, how the control are done uh, with uh, our operator, uh, which will uh, explain you uh, how the how we use uh, the remote controls. Hi everyone. Uh, so today we will show you um, a quick demo with tractor. So first of all, I want to introduce you um, the safety remote control, which has the push pull button for safety control. Um, and uh, allows you to start and stop uh, the mission once uh, set up. You can uh, as well uh, reduce the speed of the tractor from its nominal speed uh, during the mission, and uh, it, uh, it allows you to, to make some uh, settings. And then you will have um, the, the second remote control, in, in which you will find um, CTA's application. Uh, on this application, you will be able to set up uh, tools uh, on your implements. You will be able to set up the, your fields. You will be able to access to di di diagnostics uh, resources, the operations, and the uh, mission control uh, as well. So for today, you will, we will pick our class, our field. Here, we can find the field like this. I hope uh, you, you can uh, see this. And then we will. Uh, Take the mission from Fira demo today. So there we see the mission the robots want to perform on the full field at uh, four kilometers per hour. We 
we can see the sequences in which we, what we want to do at the beginning of the row and at the end. Up. And once we are satisfied with it, we can click on start. Uh, so, so, sorry. Um, so we are going to start the mission. The robots, uh, the robots have been uh, approached uh, by the remote controllers on the uh, on the on the beginning of the row. It will uh, will do. Um, I will follow the robot uh, just for you to see uh, to see the machine uh, the machine moving uh, in the first two ranks, and after that I will uh, let's have a. Panorama, panorama of, uh, of uh, the, the robots working. So let's go. The robot is, uh, is about to, to start. So we have a, a quick issue. So today we are equipped uh, with uh, hydraulic uh, Plates that are mounted between uh, between the, the wheels of, uh, of the robot, and uh, uh, and the wheels will be activated in order to cut the grass that have uh, that have uh, grown uh, after the the machine has been uh, after the, the crops have been uh, covered. Up. So the operator is uh, is uh, tuning, uh, finely tuning the approach uh, step, which is manual, and after that we, we can launch uh, the mission. So the robot has, uh, has started. So here we can uh, we can hear the, the hydraulic pump. I don't know if you heard anything. But the robot is uh, working at uh, four kilometers per hour. And I will try to uh, to let you have a have a look without the sun uh, right in front of you. So when the robot is uh, is launched, uh, we just have to to have a look at it uh, on some time. Uh, I don't speak about uh, about the process uh, that is uh, needed to prepare the work of the robot. We have to we have a, a stick with a, a GPS on it, and we have to prepare the the field by taking some uh, points. Uh, at the beginning and at the end of uh, the rows, uh, and after that, all data are sent into the robot, and uh, and the field is uh, almost ready to, to. So the robot uh, uh, is uh, stop the, the the implement it has, and it will perform a, a U turn in order to to go in the second rank. So we don't need uh, many space uh, to to perform a, a U-turn. 
because the road turns uh, around the, the between uh, these two uh, rear wheels. So here we have a view of the, the robot between uh, between the and here we are working. I will have a I will try to make some zoom between the wheels just for you to see the the two. So here the robot is, uh, is uh, fully autonomous, autonomous team working, uh, even with uh, chain assist solution, uh, coupled with uh, inertia, uh, which allow us to to have some uh, some uh, some data in the, in the GPS scale that could be lost for some time. But won't uh, cut the precision of the navigation. And the robot will perform another use. Here, the, the implements are mounted uh, with uh, some chain, and, uh, and the chain uh, with the floating mode on the, on the front uh, average uh, allow, uh, allow the, the tools to follow uh, the field. I hope that you can see what I see. <laughs> We will not be able to to work on uh, the entire field today because uh, with uh, the first episode we have uh, many candles uh, on the field, so it says that we don't have a, a very good uh, connection. So we will uh, stop the robot at the uh, at the next. Uh, Row, and we will uh, try just to show to show you the robot to make a turn uh, around the robot and uh, to explain you what is possible to do with uh, spectrum. So the operator has uh, manually uh, stopped uh, the robot um, just for us uh, to show you uh, the machine. So tractor uh, is a machine with uh, variable, uh, uh, which is uh, motorized and can be done in a few minutes. We, we maybe can show you uh, how we change the track of the vehicle. So here we have a track of uh, one point one point four meters, I guess. Yes, one point one point four meters. And uh, and uh, we'll uh, we'll set the 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 width of the robot to one point two. We first have to to uh, to fold the, the the hydraulic tools, which are between the so right now the robot is uh, is uh, narrowing uh, his track to 1.2 meters, so 20 centimeters uh, less than what it was before. We have to we have to 
to go forward in order to perform that operation. But here we have a robot which is uh, 1.2 meters. Uh, so, uh, as you can see, the uh, tractor is uh, equipped with uh, hydraulic. So, we have uh, up to 35 uh, liters per minute uh, hydraulic. In Athens. Here we have uh, 25 uh, liters per minute uh, hydraulic. We have um, um, I see that we have to, to go to the question. So we have uh, an average and uh, at the front and at the back. So now it's time for the, the question. And uh, as we have some question, I could, I could go uh, deeper in some uh, part of the robot that you would want to, to see. So uh, a question from uh, Baptiste uh, Gisto. Hello, uh, how do you manage the safety for human around the sector? How do you ensure that you will not roll over someone? So, uh, so the, answer, the answer is that uh, the tractor has been uh, designed and built with, uh, with safety concerns. Uh, we have a software part uh, with, uh, with uh, some, uh, some sensors. You can see a camera and a LiDAR on it. And uh, we also have uh, uh, emergency stop uh, actuators with uh, the bumpers that are in front. So if the machine, uh, if the bumpers are pushed by a human, by, uh, by an obstacle or, or everything else, the robot uh, cut off uh, the, the power. I will pass to, I hope that I've answered uh, um, the question. Uh, so we ensure that, that we will not one of someone by software and by a specific uh, actuator. Uh, how does it detect uh, width? So for uh, applications that uh, need uh, uh, width to be detected, we have uh, some uh, camera. Yes, for example, we have a, a camera here and we have the ability to, to mount a second camera uh, in the robot. Uh, in the, the middle of the robot. For example, for pet gardening, which is a, a second uh, application for the robot. Um, is the motor in the hub is electric, is hydraulic uh, driven, not electronic? Oh, so all the actuators are driven by, uh, by uh, electric because we have uh, batteries. I, I've seen uh, I've seen a question about the capacity. We have a 14 kilowatt uh, uh, battery, uh, which are uh, which could be uh, reloaded uh, while working with a, a diesel generator, which uh, which allow us uh, to reload the battery. So that uh, that diesel uh, that diesel that hybrid capacity allow us to work uh, 24 hours a day uh, if uh, if needed. Questions. Are the same safety components at the, at the rear of the vehicle as well for reversing at the end of the ropes? So we don't we don't have bumpers at the at the back at the rear of the vehicle uh, because uh, in uh, autonomous mode uh, and with uh, many tools you cannot go uh, reverse. For example, with the blade here, uh, you you only can go uh, forward. Uh, but we have uh, the ability uh, by uh, our electric uh, plug at the end, which can uh, uh, provide uh, eight kilowatts of electric uh, of uh, electric power uh, to plug uh, emergency stop and safety in order to to plug uh, uh, new tools to to the safety loops that are uh, in the robot. Uh, so. Other question. Does the tractor need? Oh, sorry. Uh, what type of application in uh, right now in this case have you performed with the tractor? We have performed uh, application with uh, in Vina, Vineyard, because uh, 
this is a, uh, a difficult part and uh, this is a, a market and we also uh, use tractor in uh, market gardening uh, is uh, the inter row guidance GNSSA or vision row guidance so um, in fact here we have a, we have a GNSSA uh, guidance but uh, but, uh, but we are working on uh, on uh, on a fusion with uh, with the row vision guidance So is the motor and the electric driven? Uh, so I, I don't think I've <laughs> really answered to, to that. Uh, all the actuators are electric uh, driven. Uh, uh, in fact, the hydraulic uh, pump is electric uh, driven on uh, on batteries, mm -hmm. uh, and uh, the hydraulic is uh, distributed uh, over for the geometry uh, of the robot the and no. for the the okay. We need to conclude now. Okay, so, uh, so <laughs> I don't know what to do, uh, what to say to, to conclude. Maybe Fabien have a, a quick word. No? Uh, many thanks, Clement, for, for the first uh, real demonstration in live uh, with Tractor Robot. Uh, made on, on FIRA exhibition. So congratulations to all the team uh, making this uh, reality. Wonderful job. And um, of course, we are waiting for everyone on the city bus to answer all the questions. We are sorry to not answer everything. Uh, we try to be reactive, but please, if you have more questions, come on our bus and uh, you are welcome also to follow us on uh, our YouTube uh, uh, channel. And uh, you can follow also on LinkedIn or Twitter and do not hesitate. Uh, we will be very happy to explain you all our solution for agricultural robotics. Many thanks to all of you and all your questions. See you soon. <laughs>